Okay, today I'm going to be showing the Roland TR606. I'll uh, just show you a couple of the features. You've got bass drum, snare drum, low tom and high tom, cymbal and open and closed hi-hat. Uh, you've got 16 banks times two. If you press the pattern group, you go to the pattern two. You can't do this while it's running. You have to do it beforehand. Um, you've got track mode and pattern right mode. Uh, Pre-scale and you can also set the last step of the pattern. Uh, now the case, obviously it looks a lot like the TB303 and it's almost, the case is almost identical apart from the, the face panel and the arrangement of the buttons here. The rest are the same, obviously the silk screen is different, but the internals uh, are completely different. I mean they, they share some components but that's about, as, you know, the case is about as far as the similarities go. So anyway, I'll show you how to program um, some patterns. First I'll switch it to right mode, select the pattern I want. I'm going to hold the pattern and press the pattern clear just to clear out the first four. And I put it into the first pattern in right mode. I press the run stop and it starts. At this point, I can set the last step. At the moment, it's going to 16. As you can see, if I hold the last step button, it'll go to eight. And likewise, if I press this button and change the prescale switch, you'll see the speed difference here. You've got triplets. And you know, you can use a combination of the last step and the prescale to make all sorts of time signatures. So you don't have to stick to four to four. Anyway, I'm going to put this back to 16. Um, select accents. I'll just put some random accents in. You won't hear them. And then we'll just put a bass drums. And some snares. Some low tom. And some high tom. A symbol, close hats, and some open hats. And it's really that simple. So I'll program on the second pattern. I, I enter right mode, I press the run stop, select the instrument I want. I'll start off with some accents, bass drums. snare drums the toms open hats that's good I'll go to number three same thing again some accents some bass drums Toms, and I'll do one for pattern four. The reason I'm writing four patterns is that I can show you how to use track mode as well. So let's start this one off and put some accents in again. Bass drums. Okay, and you can keep doing this all the way up to 16 patterns. So, one thing that is good about this, uh, if you're into pattern play mode, you can actually go to right mode without stopping the sequencer. Now, I think this is the only uh, Roland XOX box that you can do this on. So, I'll just show you how that works. Um, I'm in play mode. I select the pattern I want. And then you just switch it to right mode. And you already you you can write, you can have a look, you can change everything in that pattern. If you go back to play mode and select a different one, and then go back to write mode, you can then change the second pattern, which is you know this is actually quite a good feature. Um, another thing is you can chain patterns as well. So 
I go back to play mode, I press start, and then I will press the first pattern in the chain, and then the last pattern. And now you can only do this in groups of four. So I mean, you can chain one to two, and it'll just keep looping one to two, or one to four, or two to four, three to four, etc. But you can't go one to eight. Uh, you can, like I say, if you see there's a black line here, and these are these are the sections you can only chain together. So I start that off. I hold one and then press four. It'll play one, two, three, four. Okay, let's have a look at track mode. Now, with track mode, it's very similar to 303. Um, you first go to the right mode. Uh, you press the track that you want and uh, no sorry you select the track that you want up here so we'll say track number one press pattern clear to bring it back to the start and then you simply just start the sequencer you press the pattern you want you press the next button the pattern you want next pattern you want next pattern you want next and on the last pattern you will press the, the pattern reset on the DC bar so it would be the, on the last pattern you choose the pattern you press pattern clear and then you press next and then it will tell the sequence so that's the last pattern and it will just loop back to the start so let's have a look at that like i say first into the right mode pattern clear choose track pattern clear start the sequence so put the pattern you want for the first step press next and then the second one press next and the third one press next and the fourth one pattern clear press next now that will loop so if I go back to play mode reset back to the start of the track and as you can see it means that simple um, it's actually a lot simpler than the 303 you know it's 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 quite straightforward so yeah that's it hope you enjoyed the video and uh, if you like this have a look on my blog which is uh, www.dinsync.info. You'll find uh, this video, um, previous videos with modifications for the 202, some close ups of the 303, how to program it, how to copy patterns, and the 909 and the 808 as well. So, yeah, give us a visit, and I'll see you next time.